Well, not guilty is the verdict for former Baylor football player Sean Oakman three years after he was accused of raping a woman. Yeah, Oakman and his family waited in suspense for just two hours before that decision came back. Channel 6's Imani Payne joins us now with his reaction. Hi, Imani. Well, Chris and Leslie Oakman says this has been the longest three years of his life, and he did not hold back his emotion following today's verdict. But now that his name has been cleared, he wants to get back to his first love of football. Tonight, a jury proclaimed Sean Oakman's innocence three years after he was accused of raping a woman. An overwhelming moment for the former Baylor football player and his family. They slander my name. They fire my coach. <laughs> and I felt like all that, all that was on me. But he says the fight is far from over. We coming for everything. We coming to get everything back. Because everything is ours. And it should have never been taken away. The former defensive end was accused of raping a woman back in April of 2016 after a night out at a Waco bar. The prosecution relied heavily on the alleged victim's testimony and her medical assessments. But it was the defense that consistently pointed to the evidence. They focused on text messages the woman sent friends telling them not to wait up for her after she went to Oakman's home, as well as testimony from Oakman's friends indicating the woman knew Oakman's intent to have sex well in advance. She deleted three text messages from her phone. They were the ones between her and Sean that night where she reached out to him first. And I thought that was important for the jury to hear. And the scientific evidence was inconsistent with what she told the nurse. When the not guilty verdict came down, Oakman's loved ones and supporters cried out in relief. We built this program from the bottom up, and, and they tarnished it. I was a leader of the a Beller of Waco, of the community that I was in, and they took us down from the top. But tonight, a chance to change all of that, a chance to start over. I'm, I'm focused. Combine over this week, camp starts soon. I'm just about to start training, put my name out there. Hopefully we get a phone call. Oakman is thankful for all of the support from his loved ones over the past three years. He says that football is still the only thing he knows. He still wants to play in the NFL. And as you just heard, with this trial now behind him, he plans to start training soon. Chris and Leslie.